That's the key. This is my dad. That's my sister. This is my mum. And my mum. She always waits there. She worries when we're not all home. Mum and Dad worry when I am. Mind you don't burn yourself. Dry yourself properly. You'll ruin your eyes. And every Saturday morning when me and Mum go shopping, my nan always tells me to look out for the traffic. Me! It's Mum she should be telling. When she wants to get to the shop opposite, she just takes off. She doesn't bother with the crossing. We've been told at school not to go between parked cars, but to use the crossings. And my mum says that's quite right when you're young. At home there's all that sit up and eat up, otherwise you won't grow up to be big and strong and healthy. And outside, where there are cars and lorries and buses wagging past, my mum should be wearing l plates crossing the road. Good job she doesn't drive. My dad does, and he's very careful, but he doesn't always practice what he preaches. Me and him had been up in the park Sunday morning. Then he remembered we hadn't bought the car. I started walking to the subway, and he tells me to make us late for our dinner. It's very funny how grown-ups can always be right, even when they're wrong. Now, if anybody had tried that when he'd been driving, he'd have done his nut. The best, though, was when I was with Mum. Me and her were on our way home after getting me more shoes. Anyway, we have to cross the road. And she didn't even see the car coming. She was about to tell the driver what she thought about him, and he was out the car to do the same. And you know who he was? My dad! In our new car. We could have all finished up as mincemeat. And you tell me how they would have explained that to my name. <laughs>